Hey YouTube, welcome to the Reptile Barn. Today I want to talk about a risk we took. It's not really a risk, but uh, kind of. So, we bought this female. Her name is Freya. She is a leopard ivory. Um, we have never managed to capture her true colors on camera, but uh, I promise she is a leopard ivory. <laughs> not just a regular ivory. She is gorgeous. We love her. Her genetics are certain. She is a leopard ivory. The male that we bought specifically because we bought her is Onyx. He we purchased as a GHI Anchi Gravel. Okay? Now, most of you know, yellow belly, which ivory is super yellow belly, to gravel makes a freeway, right? Highway. Highway, freeway, asphalt, and gravel are very similar interacting with yellow belly. One makes a freeway, one makes a highway. I think gravel makes a highway. Um, I need to double check on that. I'm getting them mixed up. Either way, they're awesome. Super awesome snakes. Leopard highways and freeways are also super awesome. The fact that he is gravel and she and GHI and she is leopard means we can make some incredible highways, right? Really, really high-end snakes that are also just beautiful that we love, right? We would end up keeping the coolest ones anyway, <laughs> not selling them. But uh, the breeder could not guarantee that he was gravel rather than yellow belly because it's basically impossible to tell the difference visually between a gravel and a yellow belly, even in tandem with other genes like GHI and Enchi. Um, the best he could do, which some of you are gonna scoff at this, others of you might be okay with it, he, he, he was like, look, I've been breeding in the yellow belly complex for like 20 years. I, I'm pretty accurate telling between my gravels and my yellow bellies. That, you know, that was the best he could do. He couldn't guarantee it. Because you can't, you really can't. Um, but he just believed he developed an eye for it good enough that he thought it was probably a gravel. So we went ahead and bought the snake, right? Now, if it turns out he's a yellow belly and we make a bunch of ivories when we pair these two together, it will be a little bit disappointing. He's still an awesome snake, though. Um, so anyways, I wanted to talk about that. From a, from a business perspective, it was a risk, right? He's worth a lot more money if he's gravel as opposed to yellow belly. The babies he can make with ivories are way more valuable if he's gravel as opposed to yellow belly. So uh, we took the risk. Uh, if, it, if it turns out that he is gravel, we are going to be just sky high, through the roof, excited. Um, she is approaching breeding size. She's probably 400, 300 grams short. Um, so she'll be ready, I'm guessing, by the winter, no problem. And he's, he's obviously big enough to breed. We're not going to overtax him. We'll probably only put him to two or three females. It'll be his first year, but he'll be plenty big for breeding. Very, very, very exciting pairing that we've been preparing for now for a year since we bought these snakes, maybe more. Um, very, very excited to do this, but I did want to just kind of bring up to you guys. I was thinking about them today, and I was like, man, that could be so awesome, and I don't want to be disappointed if we get a bunch of ivories out of this. It's not disappointing, they're beautiful snakes, but uh, it will be a little disappointing. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know, I, just the concept of doing something just because you're excited about it, as opposed to because it makes good business sense, uh, hopefully you can just be excited about it and it makes good business sense, but occasionally when you're strapped for space or strapped for cash or whatever the case may be, you have to make some decisions. Am I going to go with what I really most would be excited about? Or am I going to go with what makes the best business sense financially? Um, this comes up when we're trying to do our reptile barn as a business, right? We want it to be profitable. We need it to be profitable. Um, we work far too hard at this and, and have invested far too much of our time and money for it to never be profitable, right? Um, however, we're working with animals because we love working with animals. So, while on the one hand, financially, it would be disappointing. We want to make these these highways. <laughs> I think I've probably flip flopped back and forth. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up. But a gravel to a yellow belly makes, I think, a highway. 
Um, and that's what we are hoping for with this combination. But uh, yeah, so here's our two beautiful snakes that we'll be pairing in the winter. Um, and let me know what you think. Uh, have any of you out there ever heard of a reasonable and accurate way to identify a gravel as opposed to a yellow belly? I have never come across anyone who said that this is the marker. This means it's yellow belly. This means it's gravel. I've never heard somebody who has said that. I've heard a few people who have a bunch of them in their collection who have been able to say, man, when I get a clutch, they just tend to be a little bit more like this or a little bit more like that, depending on which gene they are. And so I kind of get a, a basic idea for which one's which, but again, with no guarantees, as the breeder that we bought from said. So thank you for watching. We are excited to see what happens between these two. Uh, hopefully she goes for us in her first year. Otherwise, we'll be waiting another year of suspense to prove him out. But uh, it'll be worth the wait. And even, even if he is a yellow belly, they will still make spectacular babies and we'll be very happy. So thank you for watching. Until next time, we're the Reptile Barn.